Cause and effect. Everything you do has an effect on something else. So to get rich or whatever you want to do, go to the Philippines, that's your end game. But you have to understand that everything you do from today either takes you closer to it or further away. Now the easiest way of seeing this is, for example, buying a new iPhone. An iPhone cost, I don't know how much they are, 500 quid? Um, has that had a negative or positive aspect to it? Well, the answer is it took you further away from your goal of reaching the Philippines or retiring the Philippines or visiting the Philippines, doesn't matter. But w the main thing here is cause and effect affect everything, really does. And people that are wealthy or doing a lot of stuff that you just go, I wish I could do that, or wish I could afford that, or wish... It's all about setting down these rules and then following them. The way I do it myself is I set budgets. I, I work on money, I'm very simple like that. Um, so, as you know, I buying that house in Spain, I set the budgets. You may have seen it on the website. And you've seen it slowly climb every month. Um, the reality is, that is how I look. I go there and that little line is like, I need to reach that goal. Everything above that goal is fine. I can either put it in that pot or go, okay, pat on the back, you work really hard this month, you can buy something. But for a majority of people, they go and buy the phone. They'll buy new shoes, a new suit. Um, upgrade the car, because they had 0% finance for the first two years. All these sort of things, but <laughs> Reality is, they're all taking money away from you. Um, and cause and effect is done by assessing everything. When I see a car that's got, oh, it's only a hundred pounds a month or whatever, I go, okay, so where's the catch? Um, what catch, what's catch? Uh, 200 pound, uh, 2,000 pound deposit, um, I pay it for two years, then I have to pay another lump sum of about, so you, that £100 a month is really just interest because the deposit and the end payment are the real payments on the car. Because if I don't pay at the end, they take the car off me. So um, there was no benefit to me whatsoever in this. And that's, that's how you need to assess stuff. Has it got a positive impact? Has it got a negative impact? Um, don't just buy stuff just because it seems a good idea at the time. Oh, it's on sale, I'll get that. See, I mean, this week, for example, I got a Wi-Fi extender. Now, that was, may have been an impulse buy, but the reality is I needed one for Spain. Um, I should have bought one six months ago. Uh, but instead, we just got by with what we needed. It was just that now, seeing one on sale, I thought, I'll get that because I did actually need one. But if I didn't reach my budget, would I have bought it? The answer is no. So this is my point. Everything has a cause and effect. You need to realize that many of these things you're doing is taking you away from your goal. And the reality is, if you change some of those, you reach the goal quicker. Um, doesn't matter how you look at it. This is why people get rich or are successful, etc. Because they concentrate on those positive aspects and how to reach it. They realize that, you know, you know it's like when people go to school, you know, they're, you got the guys that are sitting studying at night while other people are out partying. Which person is going to reach the most successful career path? The, more than likely the guy that's sitting and studying. Who is going to have the most interesting one is a different thing. Because the guy that didn't pass and then thought, I'm going to take a year out in Thailand or and travel India, his life is more interesting. The other guy sits in a little office and trying to work his way through and up the business ladder. Completely different lifestyles. So who got it right and who got it wrong? The answer is neither got it wrong. Where they may get it wrong is when that guy sat in the cubicle goes, you know what, I wish I wasn't here now. I've been doing this for 10, 20 years. Um, 
my ex wife took the house, took the car, took the kids, and half my paycheck every month. So he may not be happy where he is. The guy that went toward Thailand and wherever comes back and only flipping burger at McDonald's, thinking, I wish I would work harder at finishing my college course. Who got it right and who got it wrong? In that case, they both got it wrong. But at the same time, it's all about cause and effect. The guy that was sat in the cubicle, he had looked at the business side of things, but forgot that he had a life, which probably had the same effect of um, if he was single and just concentrating on work, because his wife would have left him, or even if he had never met her, um, he would have never ended up with no wife, should I say, because the fact is, his focus was on one thing. It wasn't about quality of life. He hadn't fa factored that in. Um, the guy that went off to Thailand or whatever, his life would only stay flipping burgers if that's where he decided to stay. He could finish his college course. So the reality is here is A, cause and effect. First thing is everything has a root cause and the effects and outcomes from it. Second thing is, you can change things. There is no, nothing on this planet that makes you that is 100%. Both those guys could change their scenarios if they so decided to do so. Very likely the guy in the office wouldn't change it because he's now stuck in a rut where he's put that much into it, he can't see that the opportunities of travel and stuff are realistic. Where myself, I would take a year off work because I worked that hard anyway and the ex-wife wants my money take it because at the end of the day when I'm off work I'm not earning so good luck to her <laughs> but a guy flipping burgers go back to college night school you could do that and get on in life I've I haven't always had it easy um, when I did my carpentry and joinery I went to night school. When I did my electronics, um, I was at college during the day, but I used to work in a bar at night. I paid my way through my education, which is why I value education. That's why I find some of these idiots around here doing courses like media studies and stuff, thinking they're brain surgeons. I just think idiots. Because um, a lot of these are about generating debt. They're not about getting you forward in life. Because um, although you can get, hey, you can get a student loan, they've chosen subjects with a very narrow window of opportunity. I work the other way around. I look for the opportunities and then I work from there. You know, I wouldn't become a skydiver and then think, you know, I'm going to be a skydiving instructor. I would be a computer programmer with a skydiving holiday. Um, skydiving hobby because reality is programmers are in need skydivers there ain't a lot of people needing them so cause and effect everything's cause and effect cause and effect cause and effect how you spend money how you earn it where you put it try and look for ways to make more out of your money as well um, I'm using funding circle at the moment my return on interest at the moment is sitting at 9.9% per annum. Uh, bearing in mind my bank gives me 0, 0.0 something, which was the best option. Did Funding Circle contact me? Answer is no. I went looking for them. And that's thinking. This is me setting my goals where 10 years time I want to be finished from work completely. Um, may still work doing stuff I want to do but that's when I could be a skydiver <laughs> because at the end of the day I'm not doing it for money I'm doing it for fun so how am I going to get there as I said I want 200,000 in the bank we've hit like I said we've got 20,000 euros at the moment um, about to put out of work work on some of the software stuff I've been putting off simply because I do not have the time but it will give me more focus, more direction for next year. So it will drive forward faster next year. Cause and effect, think ahead. Realize everything has an effect on everything you want to do and achieve. Thanks for watching.